Hello, and today we're going to be unboxing the Terrace TV in its sound bar. I'm not entirely sure what this thing is, but that's what my dad's here for. Thanks, Graham. Yeah, today we are going to be taking another look at a new Samsung television. This is the Terrace TV, and so this is a little bit different than uh, most of the other uh, TVs from Sam Samsung we've been unboxing. In the past, it's always been the uh, high-end uh, QLED indoor 4K TV sets. Uh, today, it's going to be Samsung's specialty line, the Terrace, which is an outdoor television and its associated outdoor sound bar. So, first thing I want to talk about, why do you need an outdoor television? They're considerably more expensive than the indoor version. Um, basically, it comes down to longevity of the television in the elements and quality. So in the past, what a lot of people have done is placed a poor quality, cheap set outside uh, because of the fact that it's not going to last as long. Televisions weren't meant to withstand the temperature and humidity uh, and dust that you'll have uh, in an outdoor setting. Uh, so in the past, your choices have been poor quality, or spending a lot of money on an outdoor uh, television. And that's that's where this comes in. This is uh, Samsung's uh, entry into the outdoor television market. There was a model in 2020, and this is the 2021 uh, model. So they do make two versions. I'll talk about that briefly in, in a couple of minutes. Uh, they have a partial sun and a full sun um, version. This is the partial sun. Uh, it's the 75 inch. Um, that is the, the highest uh, size that they do make. They make a 55, 65, and 75 uh, in, in the partial sun model. So let's talk about the main benefit of this television, waterproofing. Uh, it is waterproof. Uh, let me go back. It is water resistant. Uh, this television is water resistant to an IP55 rating. And so for those of you who aren't familiar with the IP ratings, uh, it's basically the first number, the five, is its imperviousness to dust, and then the second number is uh, water. And so uh, it's five out of a six point scale on the first number. Um, and then uh, for water, uh, the five doesn't mean that it's waterproof. Uh, it means it's water resistant. Um, and and you can, for those of you that are interested, you can, you can look up exactly uh, what the qualifications are for the five, six, seven, eight. Um, to give you some point of reference, most mobile phones right now are uh, IP68, so uh, much more water resistant than this television is. But you know, in all fairness, you're not going to be submerging this in a in a pool of water. So uh, this is meant to take water uh, on it or at it. Um, you know, there's specific specifications. You know, water from a certain size nozzle, a certain pressure it can withstand. Uh, this this can withstand um, you know water uh, on it. All right. One other thing to note is that the remote that comes with this is IP56, uh, so it's a little bit uh, more water resistant, uh, which makes sense. You're going to have your remote out in possibly um, a, a, an area that's going to take a little bit more uh, water to it. Um, so the other thing is the temperature range. This temperature, this uh, television is meant to withstand uh, temperatures anywhere from negative 22 to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh. Uh, so a very wide range uh, of temperatures that uh, pretty much will accommodate in most uh, of the locations that uh, you'll, you'll use this in. For those of you who are wondering why I'm in my pajamas, is because it's like early in the morning, as you can see outside. Probably. Yeah, that's right. We're doing this video at the crack of dawn because I have four kids and this is the only time that I have where it's not. Well, oh, three of them sleeping right now. Yes. This guy always gets up early. Okay, walk off. All right. Uh, so now let's talk about the different models of this uh, of this television: the partial sun versus full sun. So. The reason this comes into play, the partial sun is actually not is only rated for ambient and non-direct sunlight um, versus the, the full sun model, which is considerably more expensive, 
uh, is rated for direct sun. And really the, the big reason why they make two versions is the heat uh, that the TV has to deal with. Uh, when you're in direct sun, you're gonna have a whole lot of heat. And in fact, the brightness of the full sun model is less than the partial sun model. We'd think it'd be the opposite, but it's actually not. Uh, and that's because it just cannot get to the full brightness that this television can uh, and withstand that heat. So it's gotta, it's gotta decrease the, the, the level of brightness in order to accommodate that. And that is a perfect segue into talking about just how bright this television is. So um, Samsung lists the brightness here as 2000 plus nits, uh, which is, is very, very, very bright. Um, it's, it's going to rival and exceed um, Samsung's like, QLED television uh, sets for indoor use. Uh, I've seen one reputable re reviewer um, record an instantaneous peak brightness of 6,000 nits uh, when the TV is in its dynamic picture mode. So this television can get extremely, extremely bright, which is important uh, when you're outside um, and, and you have that uh, ambient sunlight, it can get, uh, you can need it to get pretty bright. Uh, the other thing that this television has is an adaptive picture mode. So it will automatically adjust the, the picture settings, brightness included, um, based on the, the ambient light uh, around, which uh, as you can imagine outside, the ambient light can vary significantly. When the sun goes behind a cloud, it's gonna get much darker than, than when you have full uh, sunlight, uh, you know, ambient light on the television. So that's another important feature of, of the TV. All right, um, another uh, feature that this has that is a little bit unique to the Terrace uh, TV models is it has a built-in HD Base 10 uh, receiver. Uh, yeah, sorry, HD Base T receiver. Uh, and really um, what that gives you is a, a way to transmit uh, audio, video, sound, and power over a single uh, line, whether it's fiber or a uh, an ethernet cable. Uh, now, I did include power in that description because that's what HD Base T can do, um, but don't think that you can power this television over that single line. You'll still need to plug it in. So HD Base T will only give you up to 100 watts of power. This television requires uh, more than that in order to function. So you still have to plug it into the wall. All right, uh, another thing I do want to mention about the TV, it does not include a stand. This television is meant to be wall mounted and um, it, it will not, uh, it doesn't come with a stand in the box. In fact, there's no, no way you can buy, um, well, you have to buy an aftermarket stand if you do want to put it up, but it's, it's not meant for that. Um, it's only meant to be wall mounted. It does not come with a wall mount either. You have to buy that separately. Uh, it does come with a, a dust and rain cover uh, to put over it when it's not in use though. So that's another, another good feature. All right, uh, and so then I'm going to talk a little bit about the, the sound bar. This is the, the associated sound bar that goes with the Terrace TVs. It only comes in one model, uh, and it uh, wirelessly connects to the television, so there's not an additional wire that you need to run uh, that, that will show. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and, and start unboxing this, and I'll, I'll show you what, uh, what we're looking at. <laughs> got all the contents of the accessory box uh, unpacked and unboxed. Uh, we've got the power supply. It's got a big massive power supply. Uh, we've got all the mounting hardware right here. Uh, it's got an optional um, optical audio cable. The remote it does come with some cheap batteries uh, and then the user manual. One thing I do want to talk about, talk about, I just unscrewed the, uh, this back plate. It swings out. 
Uh, and this is how uh, things stay waterproof. The um, digital audio out uh, and then the power in. Um, it comes through these little grommets right here, these rubber, rubber gaskets, so there's no water that can enter into this cavity right here. The television has the exact same thing, uh, and I'll show you that um, once we get that unboxed. Now let's get this bad boy out of the box. the accessories unboxed. These are actually in the very top uh, of the box so before you lift the uh, top of the box off the television open the top of the box and these accessories are going to be up there. Um, so it has this really quick uh, installation guide you can see here uh, it, uh, it was ripped a little bit in transit but you can see it says um, complete shade ambient light is okay but any direct light from the sun is not okay for this partial uh, um, sun version. Um, it also has the instructions on how to open the waterproof and dustproof cover uh, in the back and all those little grommets where you can run your cables through to make completely waterproof. It even has the uh, sizes of the uh, openings for different cable widths. So we've got your user manual, the power cord, the remote, and then again, some cheap batteries. Uh, this right here is a cable holder. Uh, it screws into the back of the television and you can route all your cables through it from the side because you can see right here the uh, cable uh, opening and the, all the ports are on the uh, television side. This will run the cables to the middle and then out this little opening right here so you have all your cables coming out in one direction in the middle of the television. Um, but one thing as you can see that is not pictured here is the um, cover for the television which was included in previous versions. It is not included in the 2021 model of the uh, Terrace TV. Uh, I looked at the user manual and is not listed as uh, one of the included accessories. So uh, just uh, to, to let you know that is not uh, a included accessory in the 2021 model of the Samsung Terrace TV. All right, so right now what we're looking at is the back of the television. This right here is the, the box, the waterproof box. Uh, it extends all the way down to right here. Uh, it's a pretty large size, so all your cables are going to route through the bottom and into the ports over on the side, but it is large enough to accommodate some very small um, uh, components like um, streaming sticks or things like that. Uh, it's not very large. I'll have the entire, um, uh, the actual size uh, uh, of this uh, on the uh, description here, but um, just, you know, one thing to note is that you can uh, put some, some streaming sticks in here and it will be... Um, completely waterproofed in this case right here just you know my hand for size reference right here it's a pretty pretty large box so we're not going to uh, lift this completely out of the box because it's ridiculously heavy but um that was it for our unboxing video of unboxing the samsung terrace tv and um keep a lookout for our next video for our full review bye